Hey everybody, Dylan Borland here over at the Borland Group and I wanted to take just a few moments to chat with you guys real quick about what exactly is a syndication, right? We've got a lot of people that uh, want to invest in real estate, they want to invest with us, but they just don't understand or maybe they don't have never experienced a syndication before. To us, syndication makes the most sense. It's a great way for investors to participate in deals that maybe you couldn't participate in on your own. And so I wanna go over kind of a very simple 10,000 foot overview of that process. What does it look like? And uh, how can you participate, right? So the first thing we gotta do is we gotta define, you know, what is the syndication? So a syndication um, is really simple at its root. All we're doing when we syndicate anything is we're allowing a group of other individuals to actually come in and participate in this investment, right? So let me give you an example. If we had a property that needed, very simple example, if we had a property that needed $100,000 and I had 10,000, that guy had 10,000, that guy had 10,000, we all put in our money, we pull it together to buy this investment, right? That's syndication at its absolute most basic example. We're pulling our money together to buy this asset that none of us may be able to buy individually. Does that make sense? So in terms of the process, what are some of the advantages? Well, the advantages of a syndication are, you just heard me talk about it, right? Some of the advantages are, as an investor, I may only have 25,000 invest. I may only have 50,000 invest. I may only have 100,000 invest, but I want to invest in this bigger deal. I want to invest in this 96 unit apartment building, or I want to invest in this 250 unit building, but I only have a small portion of that, right? So by participating in a syndication, I can take my 25,000, I can take my 50,000, my 100,000, whatever it is, and I could put it into this bigger deal um, collectively. Okay? These are properties that I, could, I wouldn't be able to attain necessarily on my own, but all I have to do is participate in this deal. And what a lot of people don't realize is that you're actually going to get very similar returns on your capital um, by participating in deals with other investors versus trying to go out and do it on your own as well too. You're going to get very healthy returns and then you're going to be able to also be hands off. Right? So you're going to let somebody like our firm handle the day-to-day -day operations, handle the day-to-day -day management, execute the value add strategy. It allows you to participate with a small amount of money um, and have a hands-off, you know, sitting back a passive approach, right? Uh, which for me, you know, if I were not in real estate, that's exactly what I would want to do. But I love real estate. I love doing the value add execution plan. I love every part of it. Okay? But you got a lot of guys out there that real estate is not their specialty. Maybe they're a dentist, maybe they're an attorney, maybe they specialize in a different field. They have some extra money sitting around in a 401k or an IRA or just sitting in the bank or God knows where and it's not earning what it needs to be earning. This is a perfect platform to plug it in and let our firm who we specialize in real estate handle the process and handle the investment for you. So there's a lot of advantages to it uh, and then you also get cash flow. Right? So you're getting consistent cash flow, consistent returns on your capital, and then you get to take advantage of all the strong tax benefits and depreciation that real estate actually provides for you. Okay? So those are some of the advantages. Now let's talk about here, let's talk about some of the parties that are actually involved in the syndication. So some terminology. You're going to have what we call the sponsor, and usually the sponsor is the person who uh, will sponsor the debt. Right? This is a $5 million acquisition. Well, somebody, something has to qualify for that. So our firm will sometimes act as a sponsor on a lot of our deals, or we may seek investors just like yourself who may have a healthy balance sheet or a healthy net worth, who may want to come in and act as a sponsor. In return, we'll typically give you a portion of equity for that, or a different amount of earnings, or a different class of shares. Okay? Then you have your manager and your syndicator. Right? Now remember, these two can be the both. In many of our deals, we are not only the sponsor, but we're the manager and the syndicator as well. So that's the guy who's putting the deal together, handling the closing, handling the process, handling the whole value add execution, the whole property management plan, everything from start to finish. Okay? That's us, the syndicator. Then you have your investors. right? And so our firm will typically invest alongside of the investors. Right? If it's a good investment, why wouldn't we put some money in? We put some of our own capital into the deal. And then we'll take and say, and we'll get into an example here in a moment, but then we'll take and sell shares for the remaining capital 
that's needed to you guys, the investor. You can buy shares in this deal. Now there's a couple common classes. Um, usually you get to see your class A and your class B shares that are sold. Class A shares are going to you guys, the investors. What that means, and there's different roles defined when you look through the operating agreement, there's different roles defined. You as the investor are typically this silent investor, right? You don't have an active say in the daily management. You leave that to us, the class B holders, the managers, to execute the plan and have a say in the daily decisions, right? You guys don't want to be involved in evicting tenants and uh, you know, making sure budgets are followed and doing all the accounting and that stuff. That's what we're for. So class B shares allow us to go in and actually run this property, run this investment, while the investors sit back and get their returns. Okay, makes sense? You guys follow me so far? I know we're moving through this quick, but uh, again, this is a very quick synopsis of how a syndication process actually goes and works. Um, so the process itself is actually very simple. So we'll go out and we'll find the property, we'll put the properties under contract, and then we'll figure out the amount of equity that's needed. And I want to lay out for you guys an example here of what that would look like. Let's say we found a property tomorrow. And let's say that property was a $3 million purchase price, a $3 million acquisition, right? Now, I'm just making math simple here, guys. Let's say that we needed to raise a million dollars in equity for this deal. Now that million dollars is going to include your closing costs, that's going to include your syndication fees, uh, that's going to include all the fees associated with closing on this transaction in this million dollars. So what our firm may do is we're going to go out and say, okay guys, we need a million dollars for this deal. Our firm may put in 100, 200,000, 250,000 in the capital that's needed, and then we're going to sell the remaining equity to you, the investors. And so our shares in most of our syndications, for example, it sold a thousand dollars a share. And most minimum uh, investments in a syndication for our firm start at 25,000. So let's say we have, I don't know guys, let's make math simple and say we have 800,000 in shares to sell. And you as an investor have 100,000 you want to invest. Well, you can do the math, right? So you're gonna buy, 100,000 in shares, and you're gonna become you know, a minority holder in this investment. And we're gonna to continue to sell those shares until the whole 800,000 is actually made up. Now you guys will hear us talk about in our investments often a preferred return, right? And so let's say you're that investor that put in that $100,000 investment. Well our firm, and guys this is different for every deal, so I'm giving you a general common scenario. Every deal has different preferreds, every deal has different splits, that type of thing. So just use this as a baseline. So if you were an investor and you were putting hundred thousand dollars into this syndication deal, you were buying a hundred thousand worth of shares, what we may do is we may tell you you're going to get an eight percent preferred return on your capital, meaning the first eight thousand dollars in income that comes in is going to get returned to you, the investor. So you're getting at least 8,000 annually on that 100,000 investment. Now the way most syndications work, and it's different for um, different deals, is uh, our firm operates with a split over that preferred. So meaning, any income, and hopefully you guys can see this as I write on the board, any income over that preferred is then split with investors, sometimes 60-40, 60% to the investors, 40 to the manager, sometimes 70-30, sometimes 80-20, sometimes 90-10. So at the end of the year, you guys will see how are you paid. You're paid your preferred quarterly. So if you're getting an 8% preferred return, you're going to be paid 2% every quarter. And you're going to get updates on the property, what's happening with your investment, you're going to get your 2% every quarter. And then once a year annually, we do this every February 10th, our annual distributions come out. We're going to look at this investment. We're going to say how much money is left right, in this deal, how much income, how much profit is left. And whatever your split is, and in this example it's 70-30, 70% of that remaining income is going to go to you, the investor. 30% of that income is going to go to us, the managers, right? And so we're incentivized as managers to make sure that this property is performing well because the better it does, 
the more income our firm earns, and then the more income, which is the most important part, you as investors earn, right? So this can be anything. This could be a 60-40 split, an 80-20 split, a 90-10 split. It doesn't matter, guys. I'm just giving you an example. So let me take a step back and tell you. You're going to get your preferred return, and then once a year, annually, you're going to get your split of the income over, you know, over your preferred return. Okay? So, um, you know, on most deals, that's a significant amount of money. That may be, you know, anywhere between a 10 to 15 percent cash and cash return annually when you take into account your preferred plus the split income. Does that make sense to you guys? So you're going to get a weighted return at the end of the year of how much your cash is actually earning, right? And we try to keep investors, and when we purchase deals, we try to make sure investors are earning a total return annually of 10 to 15%, guys. And every deal is different. So um, that's syndication in a nutshell. Um, it's really not a complex topic um, at the end of the day. What we're doing and what you guys got to keep in mind is that we are collectively as a whole participating in the investment of one asset versus one individual going out and doing it on their own. It's a group effort, right? That's what a syndication is. And you guys actually become owners in this deal. You're going to be silent owners in this property, and you're going to let us, the managers, um, run this property and run the value add strategy and run the execution and the day-to-day -day operations. So uh, hopefully that gives you guys a, a quick overview. I didn't want to go you know, make this a 20, 30 minute video. I wanted to keep it as short and condensed as possible, but I think it's important for a lot of people and a lot of visitors to our site here to understand what exactly is in the syndication and how you can use it to your benefit to invest in real estate and not have to be involved in the daily operations of real estate, which really burns a lot of people out. Um, and a lot of people don't like that aspect of it. So this way you're able to participate in a much larger investment um, and uh, you're also going to be able to take advantage of the upside of this, guys. A property that we purchase collectively as a group, you know, at $5 million is going to appreciate a lot better than if you were to buy a property of your own at 100, 200, 300,000, right? And then when we sell this property, our exit strategy, if we sell this property in five years, you as investors are going to be able to participate in that upside, okay? So, uh, hopefully I covered everything with you guys. Of course, if anybody has more questions about exactly what a syndication is, um, check out the website. Uh, our number's on there, my email's on there. You guys know how to get a hold of us, fill out a form. Um, I'd be happy to get on the phone with you and walk you through the process in detail. But um, we look forward to having everybody who visits um, a partner with us on future deals and exceeding everybody's expectations. Make it a great week.